today is the day I am going to be doing my craft room tour and show you how I organize all of my items and hopefully this will inspire you to create your own organization and within your craft room. As you can see, I'm going to be entering my room. I do have a dark door, so I have a light on above. Um, off to the left, I have a cork board for any notes. And then to the right, I have just a little mailbox that things can be put into. So let's get started and let's go right in. So what I'll do is I'll do a once around the room and then I'll kind of go through each item. I do have, um, I'm holding my camera, so I am hoping that I am doing good to not shake the camera for you. So I'm just backing up here so that you can see the full wall. So when I first walk in to the left, there is this wall here, which is my most favorite wall. It has my Ikea shelving. And this was my dream craft room from, I don't know, five years ago. And I just love the storage units that I have. So over here to the left, I do have a curio cabinet I purchased at, um, and, and as you can see, a little piggy at the bottom. I do like my little piggy. It is a bank and it is full. <laughs> but I purchased this curio cabinet at Christmas tree shops. Um, gosh, probably eight or more years ago. And in it, it contains all of my Webster Pages Color Crush TNs or Traveler Notebook. And they, those notebooks will have in them all of the Planner Society kits that matched with them. And then I have just a little hook for all my cords. Up top, I have just some favorite things. The um, doll to the right is a ceramic doll my mother painted for me and um, she has passed, so it has always been near and dear to me, so I keep it with me. And I just have some little fun things, and of course my sign, this is my happy place. So I had recently done this room over, uh, when I got the Ikea units, I needed to repaint. I had so many holes in the walls from you know various organization techniques, and so I repainted, and it just looks so fresh and clean, and I love it so much. Up top, I put some florals that um, I purchased at Hobby Lobby. And then I have my first IKEA unit, which is where I keep my stickers and all my supplies, or almost all my supplies. So I have up top my most favorite things, which are my Happy Planner stickers. They are in the boxes. And I've organized them for the most part um, by topic. Uh, these are kind of all my miscellaneous. This one is florals, um, you know, boxes, things of that nature. And then in between I had room. So I put in there some of the larger Mambi Sticks stickers. And then just recently, if you follow me, I did purchase this, um, organization it's a sticker organization oops sorry off frame there <laughs> sticker organization that i plan to keep in here my functional stickers so that i always have them on hand and so let me just do a quick run around the room and then i'll show you what's in all my drawers and show you what i keep where so here is my little workstation and this is um the desk i was speaking about in past videos that I think I'm going to take down at least for the Christmas time because I do want to put up my craft room tree. I have shelving here with my Cricut and another wall over here, which is the next largest wall, which also has some Ikea shelving. The first shelf is for my Cricut tools and then the next shelf is for storage. And then right in the middle of my room, I'll see if I can get this all in frame here, is my project table. So this is an amazing thing to have in my craft room. I work at this table on my computer, but I do my projects here on this middle table. 
which has, I'm going to kind of get a little scrunched for space here. It has holding it up an Ikea Kalax cube, which is four, four by, two by two or four total. And there's one on each end. Of course, I have all my colorful pens. Here's some more of that shelf in the corner. And then I just recently sort of redid my closet. So this is a bedroom in the home and it is, this was a closet that had some metal shelving. And I just recently kind of took it apart to do this because this was the thing holding me back from getting um, all of this or getting this video out to you because it was just a hot mess and I didn't know what to do with it and it was so hard to figure it out. But I think I figured it out at least temporarily. And then over here next to the door are some um, storage cubes or um, craft, I think I'd call them, um, they're the craft organizers, this thing here, which I got from Michael's. On top of that sits my printer and there's some fun little things. I do have, you know, the Target uh, gumball uh, holder or, you know, machine. It's not a machine, but it is glass. And then I found this cute little one. So the big one holds candy, but the smaller one holds felt balls, which I won't eat. <laughs> and then I have up here a pegboard and a sign. So that is the once around. Let me start by over, going over here. On the back of my door, I have a shoe organizer that I have used to hold all my paper punches. I was struggling with what to do with these. I originally had them in the um, storage drawers, but it made the drawers very heavy, hard to pull out. And then I just decided, I went into the store once and I saw it and I'm like, you know what? This would work perfectly. So I love how it organizes my paper punches and I can see what I need to grab for. And again, my cords are contained. I have all my beautiful TNs in this cabinet. I have my stickers organized. Up top is just some fun things on the top of these two Kalax units. I have the light up letters that say create. And then I have like a little notepad holder. That's the little eyelash um, container there that's so cute. And then just, I do love florals, so there's a lot of florals in here. <laughs> and then let's go back over here. So I showed you the stickers. And let's kind of dive into these drawers here. So this unit is, both units are four by four. They're the Kalax. And in the left unit, this one here, I have a bunch of drawers. This is where most of the stuff is contained, um, and then the rest is in the uh, closet. So in this first drawer, I have some note cards and note papers. Um, then down here, I'm just gonna hold this for a minute. I have a few more cards. I do like note cards. Anything paper, you know. If you're a crafter, you love anything paper. So I'm just gonna put that back on there. And in this drawer, I have all of those fun, you know, rhinestones and stickies. And um, I've got some from Coco Daisy. And they are now all organized in one location. I love that I can get to them when I need to. And then down here, just some miscellaneous items. I have like some keys and magnets. Um, just in case, I did have a magnetic board at one time. In this first cabinet, so on the bottom of this first Kalex unit are two sets of doors. So behind this door is all of my mini Happy Planner supplies. And then I'll just kind of go up and down. And in here is some paper, which if you're a Happy Planner, you have a lot of paper. Going up, I have, oops, sorry about that a storage of Tim Holtz um, products. I do like to keep his all in one location if I can because it has a certain vibe to it. And when I craft, I like to create themes and vibes. So in here I have, you know, just some, some of those um, pockets I told you about. So these are the adhesive squares I've used that um, 
are perfect in almost any craft or planner that you're working in. I've got my, you know, rivets and clasps and just some fun things here. I've got some wooden um, sticks back there, some gems. So these are just crafting items miscellaneous. I've organized these as best as I can. In this drawer, some of these things go into the closet. I just haven't um, gotten around to it, so it's kind of a mix of things. I've got some pouches and some, you know, decorations for a traveler's notebook or planner. Top drawer is, we've got some um, pouches, miscellaneous craft items, some scissors, oops, some bows, sticky bows, um, <laughs> And a whole mess of glue sticks, because, you know, you can never have too many of those. Glue sticks, glue sticks. I actually have two packets of them. So, a lot of glue sticks. Crafters must have glue sticks. And then, let's see, over here. This is called my charm mishmash. <laughs> so, anything that I may have used as a charm on a purse or a traveler's notebook or anything is in this drawer. And I seriously need to go through it. Look at all that fun stuff. And it, this isn't the only location that I have charms in, which um, I'll show you as I get around the room. In here, I have all of my inks for my fountain pens. I have my fountain pen boxes, or some things are still in the box. Like this one that I introduced in a video. Um, it's a glass uh, fountain pen, glass tip fountain pen, so I didn't want that to break. I course have a um, storage unit and then in here just in some more fun items I do have some envelopes for mailing <laughs> and scissors uh, you'll also find as I go around my room I have an obsession with scissors I have a lot of them I don't know why it's just what I do uh, some twine that I couldn't fit in the other drawer some pom-poms And then here's the rest of the twines and trims. Um, I love having everything in one location. I do wish Happy Planner, or I'm sorry, not Happy Planner, but Michaels would sell these little containers more. Um, I find they fit in the Kalax units perfectly. And then down in this door, door number one, there is all of my Happy Planner um, accessories. So folders, dashboards, things of that nature. As you can tell, they're all on expander discs. And then door number two, as you can see, is all of my Happy Planner paper. I have it grouped, you know, lined, blanked, dot grid, that kind of thing. So I love that I can easily go in here, find whatever paper I'm looking for, and it's easy peasy. And here is a um, more of like a office drawer. So it has pens and flags and um, note papers and a stapler, uh, paper clips, some more clips in the, the drawer units here. So they're just extras that I need to have near my desk when I work. I'm going to move this other little tassel. And here is, you know, this is the proverbial junk drawer of your craft room. <laughs> It has all my flags, uh, sticky notes, a bound, scrap paper. I do not like to waste paper, so I will always cut it up and use it as scrap paper. And then I've got, of course, my little collection of Starbucks cards. How bad are we with our Starbucks cards, right? <laughs> Here I have my postage meter and a um, my Dymo label maker, which does get its work done. Um, I love to label whatever I can. In fact, these boxes for the stickers will be labeled soon. And here is um, just some, I have my business cards. I'm not going to open it all the way. I do have um, personal things in there like our checks and so forth. So I'm not going to open that. That's more of a function drawer. So over here in the desk area is where I come in first thing in the morning. And this is where I sit. So I do all my planning here for the most part, um, of course, my computer work. I'm going to take a moment here and move this chair out of the way. Okay. 
So, this was my, when I redid this craft room, this was my dream to have all my happy planners in one place. And I love how they're all organized. Um, I have, originally I had the whole Kalax unit filled with happy planners, but I have purged some of them since. Um, but let me show you my little methodology here. So typically in this top row, this cap, the cube, I should say, was for any of the newer uh, happy planners. So in this case, now we, we'd be looking at maybe 2024. So that's usually where I kept them. The next one, so or the current ones, because as you know, we buy multiples, those would go down here. And then up top are all my functional ones, which I have labeled um, temporarily with these little tags. I just put kind of a sticky note on it so that I can keep track of what was in each of them. So, you know, I have a whole book of watercolor paper. Um, this is my project book we did in a video, you know, that kind of thing. Now, right here at desk level, this box here, cube here, is where I keep all of my current planners that I may need to grab off the shelf. So if they're sitting here, I can grab them off the shelf, put them on my desk, and work in them. Uh, so that's usually what is housed there. If I go back up, these are not ones that I necessarily have used. But originally what I was doing was I was starting a trend in this cube about putting all the purple disc planners in this cube. So I kind of started it. I'm almost there. Um, but that's what's in there. Far over here. Let's talk about this little corner here, right? So I have two cubes behind my screen. So this was another reason I was considering taking this desk down because... Um, it's hard to get to these two cubes. And in the top cube are all of my holiday related planners. So, you know, fall or Christmas, especially Christmas. I have a couple Christmas in there. But as you can tell, it can be hard with the screen here to get out what I need. It's not at a very good angle. I love the desk here, but sometimes it doesn't serve its function. Down here behind the screen, these are all my recipe happy planners and then a cup from happy planner as well. On my desk, of course, I have some tape. I've got my business cards, my wedding picture, um, phone stand. My, I do use a Mac. Um, I had been a Dell user or not so much Dell, but like Microsoft. And I, my husband kept telling me, the noise you hear in the background is me moving the chair again. My husband kept telling me to get a Mac. Well, I finally did, and I'm telling you, I love it. Okay, so here's my desk. If you can't tell, I love the gold dots. Gold, gold, and there's my little Kate Spade cup, which is currently housing my coffee. I have my Happy Planner mug with this fun little doodad. It's a pen, but look at this. Look at how much it shines in the sun. I love it. Okay, and then over here is just a little container that I keep some paper clips in. Um, I do keep a Cricut mat on this desk only because sometimes I will do my crafts at this table as well. It really depends on what is where in my office at the time. So let me move this chair again, which is another, you know, benefit if I take this desk down then I, and I, when I'll have room for the Christmas tree, I'll be able to get into these shelves here. But I also can reduce my craft room by one chair. So there's pros and cons to doing it, and I'm still tossing it around, um, but that is what it is. So if I go below the desk, I'm not gonna crawl under there, <laughs> but um, on this shelf are all my extra covers. So they will be Happy Planner covers, I have astrology cover, um, and then also over to the right, the far right, uh, this one here, I have, again, some more covers for different planners, uh, astrology mostly, and so forth. In these two drawers down here, well, you know, let me see if I can crawl under here without jiggling the camera too much. 
Okay. So in here, I have all my archived Happy Planner pages and just some um, binders. In the far one, this isn't so easy. I apologize if it's all clunky. In this far one, I have, I may cut this out, it's not working very well, but I have all my um, bullet journals and journals that I like to keep for um, doing just that, bullet journaling. Under the desk is just, you know, plain and simple. I have a recycle bin and my trash can over here. All right, let me get back up here. And I may, as I said, cut that out. That was a very wonky thing to try and do. <laughs> so moving along, over here, I have um, my wall, which has a TV and my sign. In these, uh, these are Ikea pegboards. And I have like glitters and sequins. I have in the bottom here all my Cricut pens. On the one over here, I have some Tim Holtz inks, sprays, and then some more pens and markers and a few Cricut items. So this was the reason that I, well, I redid the craft room for a number of reasons, but this was one of them, was to get my Cricut machines more accessible to me. I originally had just the pink one, and I had had that in a rolling cart, and it worked great at first, but what happened was over time, it just got harder to keep rolling that around, because if you haven't noticed, I do have carpet down here. So I have, so now I love it, and I do, they do work wirelessly or by Bluetooth or whatever, but I like to plug them in. I tend to get a faster response from it. And so I tend to keep it near my computer so I can plug it in. So I love that they are there. I'm going to go up top here first and then I'll go to the drawers below. Up top, I just have a few craft items. I have my inks, um, markers, pens. Up top are my LeMay Lamy uh, fountain pens. And then in the drawers below are all washi, various places. And these drawers here are pretty popular. You could get them from Michael's, actually. So, coming down to the drawers, I have these two units are from Michael's. I don't remember the name, but they are the longer drawers. And in them, I'll pull them each open uh, as I get over there. But then what I did was that one time they sold these cubes here, which were... Um, a, their Recollections brand, I believe, or maybe now it's called something else, but it was Recollections brand at the time. And what I did was it, it worked out that two of them fit next to each other on top of this drawer unit. So this has worked perfectly. So as I said, when I did my craft room, um, I've been wanting to do this tour for a long time. But I did have a lot of things that were not yet organized because I was struggling to find the right item. Well, this doing wanting to do this tour has pushed me to find those methods. And I, I'm so happy to say that like all these little stamp, uh, acrylic stamps under here, they're finally organized. So um, I like the fact that I did do this. I'm going to kind of just go down here. So in this drawer here are all my... Tim Holtz Distressed Oxides. So this whole unit is just that. Over here is my acrylic stamps. So most, and I left this facing out purposely because if you have these units from Michaels, you can see that I was able to fit two cubes next to it and I was able to use these items which came from Target and they fit things perfectly. I have a ton of stamps and they worked out amazing. And then I got two little ones to hold my smaller stamps. So again, it worked out perfectly. I then used that same brand to get drawers so that I can pull, easily pull out the, the items that I need 
for crafting. I have my glues and gels and, you know, watercolor jars, and it worked great. I'm kind of walking around on my knees, so if it, the camera jiggles a little, you know why. This container holds all of my uh, watercolor items. So I have my brushes, a few other miscellaneous items in the back. You know, my, sorry, I'm off frame there, acrylic blocks and then the paints themselves. And then in these drawers, let's talk about these drawers. This was the main reason why I got these drawers was because I started to store my Cricut vinyl in them. So all of, I haven't labeled them yet because I am still building my collection and I don't want to label it and then have to take it off. So this whole unit on the right side has all of my Cricut vinyl. The bottom drawer also has underneath all these rolls, the mats that I need to put into the machine. That's just the floor creaking. And then in this drawer, which is on the left side, I've got more rolls of the vinyl, but I also have some vinyl, or sorry, um, washi tape rolls. And then for two drawers up, which this was organized, I reorganized this before I did, just before I did the video. So I had had like three drawers of washi tape. So I pulled out what I didn't think I would use or didn't like anymore and I got them finally down to just two drawers with the rolls in the bottom. You'll find that I do have a lot of washi. I pointed out the two units, the two little drawer units on top of this and then I have them all along one wall. So I recognize I have a washi tape problem <laughs> but washi tape works great on so many things. So long story short I have two drawers worth of washing. They are now all organized the way I need them to be. And if you're interested in putting your washi into these units from Michaels, I also got these same washi drawer trays from Target and they work perfectly. The drawers fit three large and one small. So it worked out great. Next drawer up is some more acrylic uh, stamps that I just kind of have setting in here. I don't quite have a stamp. What I want to do is get a stamp cabinet. So that's coming. Um, and then as you know, I just did my video on that. So that's some acrylic stamps. And then I go into two drawers worth of block stamps. I do love to do stamping in my um, planners and in my journals. Um, I just I do love stamps. Stamps is like the first thing I did. So there's there's two drawers of stamps. Everything is organized. Here's the two drawer units I was talking about with the washi. So I've got two drawers on there, two drawers here, and then this wall there, all those are washi. I know, <laughs> but it is what it is. Okay, so moving forward, I've got two units I will try and list the units in the description box below. Um, there's a name to each of them and I just off the top of my head don't remember. I want to say it may have been Captain, K-A-P-T-E-N, maybe. But again, I'll list it in the description. So in this particular one, I have all of my Cricut tools um, and like, uh, so, to point it out, I have all my presses. I've got the mug press. I've got my portrait um, sticker maker. I've got the Joy, some product. I've got in that box there is my camera supplies. And then of course my cuddle bug. I do have a pink We Are Memory Keepers printer. I do keep the plastic on it or over the top of it because my craft room gets an insane amount of dust in it. Um, it's very frustrating, but it is what it is. And it's because the room that I'm in has the 
attic access panel in the closet and I took the closet doors off. So, you know, it, I don't know how to contain it. You know, it is what it is. So I do keep it covered with the plastic because I don't want all the dust getting on it. I then have all of my trays, uh, cutting boards and so forth. And then in this final box over here, I have some Cricut products to use for when I do my projects. So again, as you can tell, I do love the polka dots. All right, so over here, I just have on the top of this just some decorative items. And then if I'll just kind of peek over the top here. As you can tell, there is all washi. And then there's a little washi tower over here. This one to the far corner has um, some charms and things in it, um, but that is going to eventually get moved. So I just have kind of decorative things up top. I do have a jar for push pins and clips. Those stickers on those two items are um, from the Happy Planner Craft Room sticker book. All right, and then in my first um, pegboard over on this wall. So over here is a picture or painting that my daughter made me. I have on the first one, I do not have my cork or not cork boards but my peg boards all organized just yet but I'm just showing you what the way it is now I've got you know my bright pad here my Cricut bright pad I've got some flowers um, and rulers moving over here towards the middle I've got you know this is where so there's two units you can see there's two units here and then I've got a little holder that holds all of my notepads. And I'm so happy they fit all of my Live Love Posh stickers. So that's great. I love having them all organized. And I love having every. So as you can tell, I've kind of set this up for fall. I've got some fall note cards out there. Um, I do like to have notepads and decorative papers and things like that out. It just kind of gives a vibe to my office. Um, and especially if it's a seasonal thing. I do love the seasons. So coming up to the middle cork, or I keep saying cork board, uh, peg board. Let me move over. My project table is amazing, but it is big. So over here in the middle uh, peg board is, I have all my scissors hanging. I've got, oops, sorry about that. I've got up at the top there my um, little vacuum. I have a painted jar from a friend in coffee cup. Again, that's more decorative than anything. And um, I've got at the bottom all of my Cricut tools, cutting tools and so forth. And then just a flower that matches the other side. It brings balance and then I do have this little streamer. My daughter made it for me and um, is a birthday banner one year. <laughs> it is Happy Planner Discs. I am going to be redoing that wall up top with an idea and it will involve the discs, so stay tuned for that. I will continue on with the um, pegboard and then I'll go to the unit below it. So to the right, on the far right of the wall, is again, another picture that my daughter made for me. I showed that on one of my videos. And then in, in, on this one here, I have mostly the, the pull-out containers. So if you can see, they just slide out. I do have some Happy Planner discs. I've got my little um, Instax camera up top. And then in the very middle are some um, Tim Holtz and... Uh, vintage kind of items, let's say. Then I've got two little pink folders coming down. Again, I have all washi drawers. <laughs> it's a lot of washi. Most of it is simply gilded. As you know, if you've gone and seen her, her products, they're beautiful. So I do have a lot of them. Of course, I have my little wine cups for when I want to craft and drink some wine. I have a label for my... Um, ribbon container which is again from the happy planner craft room sticker book this unit here is the right side and in it it has let me come down a little here 
a little bit of a bumpy ride there. So in this far right square, there is my mini cinch and some paper clips. I do have like a whole drawer of paper clips. I've got my laminator. This far container here holds um, pouches and um, tools. Sorry about that. Some more tools. We are made memory keeper tools. Here is my um, tray of all the we are memory keepers tools and, and boards. As you can tell, I'm overflowing. I do have some I don't have the tray, any room in the tray for, but I just kind of have them nearby. I've got my Janome sewing machine, which I got for my daughter and she wasn't using it. So I brought it back into my office, figuring I know I can probably use it at some point. The middle section of this unit, this particular unit, houses the Happy Planner punches perfectly. So I've got those. In the bottom, I just have a decorative um, woven basket and it holds some traveler's notebooks. I have a box, two boxes that I keep old hop, Happy Planner sticker books from. They're mostly from my daughter and um, I don't want to get rid of them so I have them in there. The bottom box is empty. Coming back out here I do have some binders here which are stickers. So I have some organized by fall, some by Christmas, and then in the polka dot ones there's a variety of them. Um, I have my paper punches, my happy planner paper punches. This middle section here, these two units, house a bunch of charm and traveler related decorative items. So it's a lot, but um, I love them all and I don't want to get rid of them. So I kind of needed to find a spot for them. In the boxes below here, I have um, the top box has some more charms. They're from Fern U. And then the two boxes below that are traveler notebook supplies that I needed to keep organized. And then in this one, I also have some books. Now behind the sticker, these sticker books here, I'll see if you can see there. So see these two little units here? They're like containers. There's two white ones, two gray ones, and they have my, they hold all of my Happy Planner metal discs. So they're organized as well. So let me go to the closet. So let's come over here. Okay. So in this unit, so let me show you quickly, and I we kind of taped it up a bit. So see, there's the crawl space that um, lovely, lovingly, you know, shatters all its dust around my room, um, or explodes, I should say, all its dust around my room. So it is what it is. So over here, I have my little polka dot container. I have two boxes. The bottom one holds some tie, tea dyed papers that I created. I have some Happy Planner boxes, um, and then I forgot the name or brand of those two. Up top of these two units, I have my Happy Planner tote bags. I have six by six papers over here. I just got these cute bow boxes, which I really love. In my polka dot box is my wax and stamps. You can see my little post-it note on there. I didn't, uh, I haven't found a label for it yet. In these two boxes are my, let me get out of the glare there. So I have in the top box, a bunch of crocheted items that are for your planner. They came from, um, Lane and Allie, I believe. Then I've got some pouches that hold your traveler's notebook. I've got paper and tracing paper over here, ribbon, florals, and such in those two. I do have some miscellaneous items over here, which are mostly traveler's notebooks and some craft items. I have this box, which is full of traveler's notebooks and inserts. This caboodle case holds some uh, charms and related items. And then the two bins below, the one on the bottom holds standard size notebooks for the traveler's notebook, and then uh, some decorative items. 
Then, as you can tell, there are, let's see, three, four, five, six cubes that have paper in it. These are all paper pads for the most part. I organize them by florals, solid colors, uh, holidays, um, vibe, you know, so if they're like a vintagey look and so forth. And then off to the far end here, I have a bunch of um, like acetate and vellum and things of that nature. So uh, I haven't, I have all this paper, but I haven't used much of it. So uh, that's something I'll be working on. So let me see how far I can back up here. In these drawers from, uh, these are the recollections drawers I was talking about. I have a few of them left um, in the room. I used to have on the wall that had the Ikea units, I used to have a wall of these recollections drawers and cubes. So I kind of made my own quote unquote Kalex unit using recollections. They're not as sturdy, but they're perfect if you need a solution and you want to get organized. They're perfect for that purpose. Um, and I still have them. I mean, I've had these things, I think, you know, 10, 15 years by now. So they, they're durable. They'll hold long enough. So over here and to the right, I have two drawers of office supplies. As you can tell, you know, I've got inks and pens and paper clips. Um, and then in these top two, I have stickers. So these drawers also come with dividers. So I have put the dividers in. Let me see right there. And then they're just all divided and grouped by whatever they are. So there are a lot of stickers. And that's what you have when you're a planner. Um, more stickers. I have die cuts in this drawer, which is pretty um, messy at the moment. But I do have these photo boxes from um, Michael's that I do keep them in when I organize them. I have some cording and um, twine and, you know, so forth. I have gift tags. And then the final drawer is Tim Holtz. There you go. So as you can see, I have Tim Holtz in two different locations and that bothers me, but I ran out of room down here. So I had to use the other drawer. Up here, I have my four boxes of family pictures, which as you know, I am working on a family project. I have another fun Kate Spade lamp and my flowers in my gold dot uh, vase. As you can tell, as I said, I like the gold dots. This unit is from Hobby Lobby. I loved it because it was very colorful and it was very crafty feeling. Um, some of the handles can become loose. It has its pluses and minuses. Um, I love it for its look. I love the colors, um, but in terms of the drawers coming in and out easily, they're not um, smooth by any means. So, you know, if you like this unit, you know, keep that in mind. If, you know, you want a drawer coming out smooth or not, these are not going to be, this is not something you want to get. So I do have some labels on the drawers that I could get labels on. And they hold things like, um, my Heidi Swap up here, uh, floral beads, some pens and beads and charms, patches, alcohol inks. Um, and at the very bottom, I have even one for my nail polish. And then I just store a few things over here. I love this little glass um, frame thing and I didn't want to get rid of it. So I, I'm holding on to it. All right, so let me go to this and then I'll go to the project table and then I think that would be it. So this here, of course, is my Cricut lamp. I created this um, pegboard for the purpose of putting on there the cards I've created. 
So I just kind of wanted some place to see them or maybe if I needed it to dry, I could put it all on here. So that's what the purpose of this. And then I'm gonna come over this way here. I just have like a little unit to, with drawers that I can store something in, my printer. Now in all of these containers here, again, they all came from Michael's. I have a variety of things and I will be labeling them because they have not changed thus far. Um, let me just kind of see if I can clunkily get down here and show you. So in the top two, I have ribbons. I've got some um, silhouette items, I believe. Oh, some more Cricut. I didn't even know I had those there. See, see the things you find in your craft room? <laughs> Um, I have two drawers of mostly like the Cricut items and so forth. I have a drawer. I'm going to show you because I'm not lying when I say I've got washi. <laughs> More washi. And then I have a drawer or container of doilies. And then in the very bottom are some sparkly pen gems. In the right side one I have up top is scrap paper. I keep for all of the decorative paper, I keep all of the scraps because I cannot tell you how many times I have gone to that container to pull out some paper that I could use in a craft. So I never get rid of anything. So that holds that. The next one holds um, some papers that were pre-cut for a traveler's notebook and they're paper. So I didn't want to get rid of them. I have here a whole bin of journaling items. So, you know, this is sort of like your junk journaling thing. Um, it just whatever. Tissue paper, vellum, you know, scraps, old books, pages, whatever. So that's what's in there. I have two uh, storage containers that are um, projects. And they involve a, a paper pad. So I left that in there. And then I have a drawer of, oh, that's a third one. So there's three project drawers. And then my bottom drawer holds more sparkly pens, which are from Vila Beautiful. Okay, coming over to my project table. This is the back side. So I have um, a, a box that holds a bunch of paper pads and Avery labels and so forth. Over here is um, some traveler's notebooks and such from Planner Perfect. I do have a hook on here that holds my Happy Planner pouch. My, um, it's called a planner purse. If I come over here, I have four containers. This used to be another gold dot container, but I took that out and moved it to the other unit. And I put a project um, sorter in here. So I still need to paint it white, but as you can tell, it's full of projects. I have projects everywhere. I think it's time I get some projects done, right? Um, let me see if I can show this better. So I have in the bottom two, actually all three of these hold some form of, uh, traveler's notebook cover. It could be Foxy Fix, Planner Perfect, um, general, what have you. They all hold covers. Some of those covers still have books in them. So I don't like to um, take it, I don't want to take them apart just yet. Let me come over here to the other side. I have four more containers. And these containers have cards, um, alpha stamps and stencils. There we go. These are all my spare cards and card blanks. And then I have at the bottom some Planner Society paper. And then I have a box for memory keeping. So let me show you this. So I house all of the Planner Society paper in these pretty white polka dot plastic envelopes. Um, I've had them for a while. I want to say I got them from Staples, but I can't be sure. But they work perfectly for containing the kit in all one location. Okay, 
So let's come over here to my project table. I'm gonna move this chair out of the way. So I have on the side, I put another hook so that I can hang up the cutting mats. This side just has my project list on a Kate Spade um, clipboard. Under here on this side, let me see, my floor has a creaky spot so that you keep hearing that in the background. So over here is all my paper backgrounds. So they're my desktops, um, colored paper. It even has, let me show you. It has my stamping pad. So it's a white piece. It's a almost like a desk calendar, but it's for stamping. And of course my recycle bin. I always have one nearby. I have a cart that is a recollections cart. It was three tier. I'm just gonna kind of reposition here. It was a three tiered cart and I left off the third tier so that I could put all of my traveler's notebooks from that company in one location and it's worked perfectly. Plus I can roll it in and out whenever I need to so that makes it even easier. So we are in the final stage of this tour and I hope so far it's going well. Um, I will see once I edit it. <laughs> so let me move this off to the side here. So I have a glass container that holds all of my Happy Planner skinny washi. And I made this cute little bow. It's just um, ribbon. And then I hot glued it and stuck a disc on the front. And I love it. It's adorable. In this turn here, turn style carousel, I have mostly scissors. Can you tell? Here's my obsession. Um, I have tools, punches. In the middle, I have some brushes. I've got, let me just zoom around here quickly. I've got my glue gun, my hot glue gun, and some um, paste spatulas. Coming back, of course, this cup I keep here for water. And um, I keep my coffee cup on the other desk. And as I said, once I change over and take that desk down, um, I'm going to have to figure that out. <laughs> so... I have just some items in the back here that are mostly my pens and markers. I have these two cups, Spill and Tea and Burst and Bubbles, and I loved this version. I got them from Hobby Lobby, and I'm sad they didn't have any more, but I grabbed two of them. I love housing my pens and markers in there. And then I have two turning um, pen holders. And then this one also turns and has all my, you know, gem top pens and my Erin Condren clips and then some gold pen or scissors and then more pens in the back. And then over here I have the fun carousel. You may have seen this on my, oops, I don't want to ruin my planner, on my um, feed at some point when I had posted a picture of all of these colors. How fun is that? All right. Over here, on the right side, I have this little, it's actually a recipe box, but I'm using it to hold all of my Happy Planner um, cards and, let me pull one out here, like the bigger cards, they go for the pocket folders or the pocket protectors. Um, so I just keep all of those in there by color on my desk. And then in here I have all my miscellaneous markers, um, mostly the ones. So whatever's in here is what I use and grab most when I'm working on a film or working on a video. So these, you know, my clean dot cutters or cutters, my clean dot markers, and then all my mild liner highlighters and brushes. And then as you can tell, the miscellaneous bin. I keep my planners nearby. At the current moment, I'm using a Happy Planner Big, a Classic, and a Mini. And those will most of the time be on the other desk. But I'm trying to get used to them over here because this is where I'm going to work. And then I just have my glass top uh, table protector, which is an amazing thing to have in your craft office because um, it, if you, get, you can put paint directly on there. 
and it'll easily wipe off. Blue, it doesn't matter, it'll easily wipe off. So I highly recommend getting one. I'll link one in the description box below. But, again, floor creaking. I'm gonna move my chair back here. And so I think for the most part, that is everything that I have in my craft room, how I've organized it, some tips um, on where I got some things, uh, anything that I can link, I will link below. And um, I think that's it. I think I covered everything, everything I wanted to anyway. Oh, and then one more thing, hold on. You can't exactly see it just yet because the sun is shining against it, but let me see if I can get this. I have, I wanted a chandelier in my office, but it gets so hot up here, I had to have the ceiling fan, but I wanted to get a chandelier, so I found a cute little one on Amazon. I will link that in the description box below. Um... The camera may have been a bit jiggly, um, hopefully the sound is even, but for the most part, that is my craft room tour. I am so happy to be able to have shared this with you, and you can see how I can organize things. And then I'll also do one once I take this desk down, I will do another tour and show you what I did. I did take out of the room the camera equipment and filming equipment, and then also, um, another three-tier cart, which I do keep hot, you know, just piled up with a bunch of things. So I did take those out of there, but there you have it. So I hope you have enjoyed this tour of my craft room, my Ikea craft room that serves both the purpose of crafting and planning. It has been so much fun to show this to you. I hope you have enjoyed it. And um, if you liked anything in particular in the craft room, give me a shout out in the comment below. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. Or if you have an Ikea unit, tell me how much you love it. So thank you for watching.